okay so hello everyone today we will be solving this code forces round 851 div 2 problem number b sum of two numbers so what we have been given is that we have been given a number integer n and we need to find two numbers integer x and y such that uh, the sum of the numbers is equal to n and the sum of the digit of x and the sum of digit of y can only differ by at most one so it's been given that it can be shown that uh, such x and y always exist so this problem is pretty easy uh, it's a constructive problem what you can do is uh, you can take a number for example the numbers can be like this uh, the digit let the digit be like this something uh, a b c d e okay something like this this is the digit of a number okay what we can do either it can be my uh, divisible by 2 or it can be either it can be odd or it can be even if it's even we can just divide it by 2 and give it to this a and b this is the number okay so e by 2 will be here and e by 2 will be here but what is it was odd for example if d was odd here let it be odd then what we could have done we could have given d by 2 plus 1 here and just d by 2 here remember all the mathematical operation that we are doing is uh, through c++ perspective that is uh, when we divide it by 2 it will give me the floor value of it okay so if a number is odd then what we will get that d by 2 plus 1 plus d by 2 will give me equal to d for example 5 5 is a odd number 5 by 2 will be given me 2 uh, because it will just give me the floor value so d by 2 plus 1 equals to 3 plus 1 equals to 3 and d by 2 is equals to 2 so 3 plus 2 equals to 5 so what we have done is here if the number is even we are dividing it by 2 and giving a part to a and the next part to b but if it is odd then what we are doing is giving one extra number to either a and in the next time if this is also odd what if this is also odd then we are giving it by c by 2 here and c by 2 plus 1 to here we just have to keep a flag that last time i gave my odd number if it was odd which number got the extra bit okay extra integer for example let me take an example 3 7 2 8 5 6 okay this is my number let my a is this and b is this okay so what we can do 6 is an even number so i can divide it 3 and 3 will be given 5 is not an even number so what i can do i will give here 3 and i will give here 2 okay i will remember last time it was given to a now 2 is my even number what will happen is that i can divide it by 2 i will give 1 to uh, 1 in the a and 1 in the b but now 7 is my odd number i will divide it by 2 i will give 3 here and 4 here this time that extra number will be given to b because earlier it was given to a now it is given to b i can just cut it okay now after that 3 is again my odd integer 2 will be given here 1 is given here sum will always be equal to this sum of this plus this and the sum of the digits of a and b will differ by 1 but here this solution has an error that you can detect uh, actually because of this i got my wrong solution here my wrong answer was here i did the same thing and uh, then i what i did i did a stress test uh, you can see here i did a stress test of why my answer was getting wrong and after doing a stress test i just found out that uh, my answer was wrong because if what if there are two zeros i was going from left to right this time i was going from left to right and what if there in between there are two zeros for example what i was doing if the number was three seven zero zero four two okay initially what was given uh, it was given like this uh, 1 1 2 2 0 is there I am giving here a 0 I am giving here a 0 again 0 is there it is getting multiplied what I was doing that uh, let this number be a and this number be b I was doing like this a into equals to 10 but what if this is 0 it is getting multiplied by 10 plus 0 so it is uh, just a and if it happening again and again it is remaining a so this was the uh, wrong implementation what we had to is go from left to right not from right to left for that there are many tricks that you can do what i did uh, i just converted it to a string first uh, i just i just made it a bit complicated but you can do it in easier way what i did i just first uh, converted it into a string so that i can traverse uh, first bit uh, the first digit then the second digit then the third digit like this okay for example my number was 2700428 okay let me keep one more zero okay uh, like this was the number so i was traversing from this to this uh, you can see so first my a and b uh, one and one is given then four and three is given then zero and zero zero and zero it is it is getting multiplied by 10 and 10 both are multiplied by getting 10 both are multiplied here but earlier my multiplication was done 
and zero was uh, I had to keep the zero above. But as you all know that when we do zero in the uh, left hand side of the any number, it does not count any value. So we have to do it in the right hand side. So this was the error which I had. And after that, I corrected. I got correct solution. You can see my implementation here. I just traversed. Uh, I just took all the input, and this flag is just to check count that last time an extra integer was given to whom. Okay. Then I converted it to string, and then I just traversed on the string. And if it's an even uh, digit, then I'm just giving the same number to a and b. Or else, if it's an odd digit, then I'm giving one extra to a. Or else, I'm giving one extra to b, and I'm keeping a flag like this. So this was a pretty easy implementation of this. Uh, just you have to keep in mind that you have to traverse from left to right and not from right to left. Okay, so it was all of it. Uh, I can show you the correct solution here, which I submitted. Just give me a moment. Okay, so this was this. Uh, earlier I used to reverse it and did, but uh, you do not need to reverse and do more complications. You can do it easily like this. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.